Hello, my friend. I am so excited that you are here with me today on the channel where I take my family's memories and amazing scrapbook products and turn them into layouts that will be family treasures. Today, I want to dive into a subject that is not necessarily one of the happiest. In uh, January, I attended a family funeral. My daddy is one of five siblings. There are five amazing brothers and sisters in his family that I grew up just learning what life was about from. And the oldest of the Fab Five passed away on New Year's Day. So the rest of us <laughs> gathered for her funeral and her memorial. And although the event itself was very somber and, you know, it was a sad reason for us to get together, I'm not going to lie, it was flipping amazing to be with all of my family. You know, the cousins are all grown now and have their own kids and their own lives and everything going on. And just being able to sit around and be with the people, that you, I mean, they, they formed me. They shaped me. I, I'm who I am because of their influence was just it was exactly what I think every single one of us needed. So I took this picture the morning of the funeral. Uh, it's a really kind of funny. We were in Arizona and Arizona, my thoughts in January would have been warm-ish. I don't want to say hot, but definitely warmer than where I am in Arkansas. Well, the funny thing is the morning that I flew out, Arizona was one degree warmer than it was in Little Rock. And Little Rock was in the 30s that morning. We were expecting some ice and snow. So I had not packed for cold Arizona. I had packed for beautiful temperature and sunny Arizona. So I had to go buy some clothes. And this is what I bought. And so I had snapped this picture to send to Thomas, my husband, to show him what I had gotten and see if he approved. And so there it is. And I decided though that this picture for me, this snapshot in time was one that I want to remember. It was kind of that quiet moment before kind of the hustle and bustle of the funeral got started. And it really was a, a moment where um, I was able to kind of stop and reflect of where I'd been and where I'd come from and the people who made me. And then, you know, think about the future and that, you know, we're not a spring chicken anymore. I'm not six. <laughs> I've definitely grown up and, you know, there may be more of these events coming in my near future. And so I really just kind of wanted to be in that moment. Now, the collection I chose to go with this is Vicki Booten's Sweet Rush which may seem a little off because the collection itself is very much fun colors and bright colors. And so like this is the six by 12 sticker sheet from this collection and you can see it is definitely very bright and bold colors and not somber. But here was the thing, I thought that this really felt, this whole collection really felt like the vibe of Arizona. Should be, <laughs> it wasn't while we were there, but what it should be that it's, this very warm and inviting place. The other thing that really drew me to this collection is I love these floral pieces and the colors in them. And I thought that the pinks and the oranges and the blues would go really well with this dress. So my idea was to cut this picture square-ish. I mean, it's not gonna be a perfect square because it's just not. And that it goes somewhere here-ish that maybe we trim this great mixed media looking background down and put it on the orange and then this could potentially be the page that I met with I do like these really dark navy flowers so that's kind of the vision so far so let's talk about this so once this picture is here what I want to do is have I think what I want to do is have my title ish area here, maybe some embellishments here, maybe even do something up in this corner or specifically on this dot. So that's kind of the, the direction I'm headed. 
I do want to use, I have, and I've never seen these before. I have this project pad that comes with beautiful, it comes with a full 12 by 12 sticker page. It has the full letters and some wordy bits. And then it has some gold foil papers. And I thought maybe this one, which is really pretty iridescent, I might could ink with an orange, maybe um, fossilized amber from Tim Holtz to get a background that I thought that would be really pretty. But what I like is that this is kind of a good representation of the collection, but it also has all of these solids in the back. So I really kind of liked this, so I pulled it out. I did pull, just so you know what I'm pulling from, I did pull the Sweet Rush sticker stack. And I do like some of these bits. There is a note to self that's empty that I could write on myself. Lots of really great words. The little uh, hearts, the flowers. So there was that. I pulled these. I'm not sure that I want to use them. They may be too much with the flowers, but I really love these 3D pieces. If you get in there and you pop them up, they are all layers. And then I pulled these. These are the Paige Evans Splendid Flower Bits. And they're not exactly the same. Let me grab one of the Vicki Booten ones. So they're not exactly the same, but the colors work. And there was some loose greenery pieces that weren't in the Vicki Booten package that I thought could be very, very, very helpful in building clusters. So that's where we're going. I am going to quit talking. We will check back in shortly. So here we are. I have committed to some things. Um, I wanna talk just a little bit about some of the decisions that I made. I did pull in some of these Paige Evan flowers. They are not exactly the same color, but I really liked that they had some different scales. A lot of the Vicki Booten ones were very large. So like this was one of the smaller clusters and there wasn't anything in the die cuts that were smaller. There are some of these stickers that are smaller, but they're almost too small. So I kind of worked a little magic here. So I do want to kind of address this area. I feel like it's kind of empty. I liked out of the sticker book, this kind of bannery looking strip. So I think we're gonna use that to go up here. And then maybe uh, I had set some little floral pieces up here too as well. So I'm gonna do that. We're gonna work on a title. I still don't have a title in my head, but I really feel like it needs to be here-ish in what I'm doing. So, yeah. <laughs> so this happened. I don't know that, I kinda like that, we'll see. We'll see. All right, so I'm gonna turn the mic back off and get some more things committed.
here we are my friend we are finished I didn't realize that I had these chipboard stickers so when I went to go look for letter stickers to come up with part of my title I found them and I was like oh I like this so yeah I do keep the things in this little area separate they're in different places so a lot of this collection again really didn't go with the feeling and the mood but a lot of it did so here is the end product I will have still shots to follow maybe that way I don't know I want to invite you to like this video and to subscri subscribe to the channel I do put up two to three videos a week for your entertainment and I am so glad that you were here today. Until next time, friends, go make memories.